Ta-da! Hello again. Today, we came to the production of food trucks, which is called ENK Company. The topic is actually European and not fully understandable for many. And the whole era of these kiosks and some small shopping streets, it just disappeared. I still want to figure out what is a food truck, what is payback, and where they can be located. This is the most important point, to understand more deeply your end customer. This is our video today, and this is a new Transformers case. Look carefully, because this topic is very interesting to me. You know why? Because recently, I have been in New York and have seen a huge number of food trucks, but they are so ugly, metal, standing on just every corner. And I thought, why don't we have this in Moscow? Just imagine that, if we manage, for example, to get 100 seats in Moscow and run this story. That will be cool. What is it? That is all. You can fly in to space out. Oh, of course it's fun. Welcome, ENK Company. Go! Production is divided into four stages. The first stage is welding. For example, here are now 14 frames, and we weld them here. Four millimeters is the thickness of steel. It's very important. We made a 12-fold strength margin. Here are German axles, three and a half tons, and we're covering it with a Raptor. The Raptor is the covering that the Galandewagens are covered. That is, we are trying to invest in quality as much as possible. That is, this frame is eternal. Nothing will happen to it in 20 years. The next stage is pasting. We make plastic ourselves. We made it for 100 degrees now. We found engineers who developed a special recipe for us and increased the thickness of plastic. Where do you get the material itself? One part, honestly, in China. The other part is Russian. And it's all put together and done. The Chinese do normal fiberglass. The next stage is painting. Let's go to the preparation area. That is, we are now just preparing the car for painting. The joints are now being joined. That is, the car is assembled from several parts, skirt, sheet. Is it insulated any other way? Here, for example, the feet get cold and people complained. What have we done? We are waterproof plywood, two layers of insulation, infrared mat is laid here. For the winter, it is fine here. Above, you cook, so it's warm. To understand, it is 19 square meters here. And what we have done very important in contrast to the Americans, we raise the height of the ceilings. The ceiling height is raised. That is, when you start to fry here, your heat rises high. Your head is in this heat, which is uncomfortable. Listen, are there any standards upon which you make? Or did you just take it and go on? We make standards ourselves. There are certain sanitary and epidemiological standards. In accordance with the regulations, stainless steel is also used here. It's just in the pack for now. Look, I didn't get it honestly with the sewage and so on. Where does all this go out? We have a sewage tank hidden here. We drew it ourselves, made it, welded it. Here, the hatch is for maintenance. It is insulated. A hot cable goes in there so that it will not freeze in winter. And there below, the tank stands for clean water. It is also insulated. It is 125 liters. That is, this is basically enough for two days of work. You, in principle, do not connect to any sewage. You have your own. You work yourself. Moreover, there is still a couple of jacks. Here is one of the results, for example. This is a car aerographics. A wonderful girl bought from us 10 such cars. We all paint them in matryoshka dolls of different nationalities. All this goes to the city of Ufa. They drive up to the place of Salavat Yulayev, for example, where everyone parks there, stops, turns on the generator, and just starts to meal everyone. Very cool that this product may be some kind of installation. You can put it in some place. And if it is bright, if it is luminous, it will attract attention. People will stop and just have fun and eat. Cool. Perfect. I would like to show. This is with the folding shelves. This shelf is quite comfortable. You can have coffee here. And here's the refrigerated merchandise display. This one is leaving for Uzbekistan. Listen, do you order this kitchen equipment for yourself or how? We produce refrigerators ourselves, special refrigeration panels. We have thermal bridges here. And what is the production capacity now? In two workshops, we can make about 10, 15 pieces a month. But we are now moving into a new space and we take an area of 4,200 squares. There will be up to 30 a month. Welcome. 
Here in principle, you can cook everything. There is a steam convection oven, wok, fryers, coffee machine. The idea itself is very cool. You can come where there's lots of people and you can make the day's revenue in three to four hours that restaurants have somewhere in the street. We have guys that have no place at all. They just go to festivals. At certain festivals, up to 800,000 are made net. How much time? About a week, right? About four or five days. A large international oil company bought a food truck from us. For us, it was an achievement, especially since we are oil industry businessmen initially. This is not our most basic business initially. Now, we have dived here. What did the oil company do? It is having a rebranding at the refueling station. It is closed for a month. That is, people lose the flow. They put a food truck there, and people still go, pay for gasoline, buy burgers, or put on refueling stations where they do not have stores. And what is the main use of food trucks? What is cooked here? What is sold? It's burgers, it's chilled fish, it's shawarma, it's sandwiches. What is the average value? Two and a half million rubles average for a burger. But also depends on the components. If you take this coffee machine, it costs 500,000 rubles. And you may not buy it at all, but rent it. You can take for two, you can run up to four. We hardly have any of the same food trucks. We do everything individually for the client. Guys who are restaurateurs, write in the comments below how you feel about food trucks, if you believe in this story. And we have supplied to Norway. We have opened a company, representative office in Norway. It's Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan. There's Dubai, three in Dubai. There are five in Iran. Look, it's on the beach. How does it work, by the way? Electricity too, right? Yes, there's a pump. Pumping? Yes. And as I said, another option. If suddenly these tanks are empty, you can switch to other tanks. These are the auxiliary ones, and they can always be filled easily. And there is an external connection of water supply. Here is a camera, by the way. That is, it is also viewed all, it is written in the cloud. When you have 10 food trucks, you periodically sit, you look what, where, and how works in them. That's storage closet. We have a hidden generator. It did not occupy the storage closet. 14 kilowatt generator in a noise absorbing box. Here, 21 kilowatts can be set. That is, you can make such a normal kitchen. Let's have a look at the baby. Yes, there's actually enough space too. Enough, yes. We have a chicken on Usachevsky of the same size. And how much does this cost? About a hundred. About 150,000 cheaper. But there is a slight difference, because the labor costs are the same. You save a little bit on the sheet, in some or other way, and about the same. Listen, do you have any competitors in Russia? We look at the Americans and their branch in Germany as competitors for us. The whole plan is to catch up and overtake these Germans. In Russia, in this segment, we believe that we have no competitors. What I wanted to show, so here it is. It's not a food truck, it's a mobile office. The travel agency bought this mobile office and they put it during the FIFA Cup so that everyone who came to Russia did not know they have nice girls here who know several languages, and they handed out booklets to them, told them which restaurant to go to. That is, we also make mobile offices. Initially, when you create a business, it is not necessary to make some perfect product. It wouldn't be produced anyway. You will do it somehow, get burned many times with suppliers, with the quality of materials, something else. Then get feedback from customers. Again, you improve. Then in the process, you rework and get the perfect product in a few years years. In terms of documents, what does a person get? Is this a vehicle or what is it? Is there a vehicle certificate of ownership or what? We issue the license plates. We have shop van or mobile catering outlet in the vehicle certificate of ownership. This is also very important because if there was a trailer and they traded from it, the police forbid to do so. And then we give a whole pile of documents where there is each certificate for each component. That is, if a serious inspection comes, then having checked these components, everything that that it consists of, they, as a rule, close all questions. You know what I thought? 
Here in 20 minutes, there is a girl who sells food in such food trucks directly at a roadside. We'll go there now, and we'll be told how it all works from the inside, about all the problems, about all the advantages. A quick drive? Do you mind? Yes? Go. Well, here we are. Minsk Highway, toll road at the entrance to the city. There is such a yolk, and at the exit of the city, there is exactly the same on the other side. Let's look at this case now. Very nice to meet you, Dimitri. Yes, very happy. Irina, Sergey, hello. And you have five of these, right? Four. The fifth is under construction. The fifth is under construction. Everything is clear. And they are all coffee shock? Are all the same yolks? Yes. May I come in? How many kinds of products do you sell? What is the most fast moving? What is less fast moving? The concept was originally built on the road. So, what are the nuances? The car is uncomfortable for having a meal. All burgers fall from everyone's mouth, usually. Since here are expensive cars, expensive clothes, and everyone, we all this considered, we have bombastic sandwiches. Our production is separate. We proceeded from not cooking in food trucks. We have logistics in the morning. Can I have one sandwich, please? Which one? With what? And what is there with? With roast beef, with parma, chicken, tuna, roll salmon, roll Caesar. Give me chicken. So you made bombastic sandwiches that didn't fall off, which do not fall off. Bread does not crumb. Sandwiches should have features because bread differs in different kinds. Chicken goes on poppy bread, roast beef on bread with greens, and so on. Since everyone goes to Moscow in the morning, there is a road, coffee is popular. The focus was on a super automatic machine that can make the most coffee in an hour today. It stopped cope, the second machine appeared. Since people are in a hurry, the choice should be limited, but enough in full. That is, the number of sandwiches we have eight varieties, and coffee all existing, a flat white, and RAF, we all do. Enjoy your meal. So fast. And how did you come to the fact that the waiter appeared? Once upon a time in a past life, I worked abroad and appreciate the service. Always appreciate. My requirement was initially when we came with such a proposal to the main road that we will have service without leaving a client's car. Service as quickly as possible. The operating system issues the checks for a full 33 hundredths of a second in order for it to be fast. The checkout counter is on the street so that you could understand. The waiter comes to the client's car, accepts the order, the check goes here, the people are already picking up, moving, giving it out, the payment is non-cash and cash, that's all. What tip could you give to people who want, for example, in the regions to open some similar business? To start looking for a place, if you have an idea, to work it through. How do I find a place? What tips could you give? A place on the principle that we have no competitors here at all. That is, we are doomed to success, I would say. It's just a matter of getting a client. That is, a lot of motor cars drive along the road. Location? What else? Coffee machine to cope with the volume. Still, advertising well promotes. Accordingly, as soon as we set up signs, individual design information signs, the people began to arrive. Two people working? On weekdays, we have here three that cannot cope. Here, two? Yes. Here are two. And one there on the street? Yes. Because there is a very intensive flow. Do you work from seven to what time? There from seven to nearly nine in the morning. More sales in winter or summer? We are generally out of season, directly growing from month to month. Less on weekends, as I understand? Yes. Guys, back to production. We'll have a quick coffee and come back. Don't switch. And like to put for such wonderful people who share information with us. Go. Here is a ready-made one short car. ENK model. Where's this going? To Armenia. Tell me about this bureaucracy process. Where may people locate them? You come to the place you want, find out who it belongs to, and you start to negotiate, whether it belongs to the state, whether it is private. Well, the second option is for festivals, but we already have a precedent now. In Nizhny Novgorod, in Chelnyabinsk, they allowed to just drive, catch the crowd. I, for example, want to put near any university. Then I need to negotiate with whom? With the rector. Our guys put near universities. No one agreed, just came. 
mealed there at lunch, and left. There is such an experience. And what problems can arise? If you unauthorized got up in some place, then a fine of 2,500 rubles seems to be, and you stand further. Now we are waiting for the bill on the itinerant trade. It lies already in the state Duma. That's how it will be issued. Then everything will fly. When will it be issued? It is issued every year in autumn for four years already. There is also the itinerant catering. It has become popular now. That is, to put paella on the street, fry pilaf near, plus a lovely food truck, speakers. Kids love it. We went to children's birthdays, in general. The children squalled. Ice cream is beautifully given, and so on. Okay, we've learned that there are a lot of advantages. Are there any disadvantages? Could you say three disadvantages of work in food trucks? Just such a business? The guys who bought, they have a lot of businesses. They have a disadvantage, and they don't particularly look after the car. And here we came, there really is dirt. And the guys are working in bad faith. Sales there did not go much. Location, perhaps. Someone could not find a good one. Perhaps not much he or she gets to negotiate with someone. In vain, I bought from you. There were no such cases. If I buy it from you, for example, then I also need an extra motor car to carry it. We have many as well as we ourselves. We do not have a motor car, and many of our customers do not have a motor car, but many have it. Someone doesn't have one at all because it's easy to call now. Any motor car came to you for 30 minutes overtook it where you wanted, and so on. And parkings? Where to park? Well, it is usually parked where they trade. It stands there. Welcome to Transformer Restaurant, the most delicious hot dogs in the city. Wow! What is very interesting here is that we have embedded Jasper. Jasper is a thing where meat is cooked on coals. And here is the exhaust fan. It is for 300 degrees, 2,600 cubic meters per hour. By the way, the car is absolutely sealed, and now there will be a small whistle. Now I will open, the whistle is gone. Plane Moscow Dushanbe, preparing to land at Sheremetyevo Airport. The temperature is 3 plus degrees. Welcome to the hero city of Moscow. What did I want to ask our subscribers? So, if theoretically in Moscow, we are allowed to locate these trucks, then what we better sell there? Pizza? Hot dogs? Steaks? Kebabs? Shawarma? Fish? Please guys, write in the comments. We really need it. I drove here today and thought about the possibility of launching a network of such food trucks. I'll make you some coffee. Look, street photo. Virtual reality 3D. Stroyland. What is this? Workshop on wheels. Workshop on wheels. Children's clothes. Flower shop. Flower shops, ooh. Go figure, you can cook hot dogs and then, once for an eighth of March, make a sharp 180 degree turn and sell flowers. Basically, yes. By the way, I just wanted to introduce my brother. He is a co-owner of the company. Many ideas of promotion are just his ideas. He's younger, more creative. Hi, to exit abroad, what were you doing in advertising? Or is it just in friends? We attacked abroad with hashtags. And so we launched the agents. What does an agent mean? Our manager works there. He just went to the Craigslist, made an announcement. We gave him the same photos and he started to receive incoming calls. We helped him first to make commercial offers. Then he learned how to do it himself. And he just calls us WhatsApp in the video here. We show production here, they see it's all real. Then they arrive and we sign the contract. Give advice on how to find a sales representative abroad. One of the options is to go there for the exhibition and start talking to the guys there who sell, in our case, a point of sale equipment, and to recruit each quietly. I actually thought that we should do something together with the stars, with other bloggers. And I propose to do a collaboration with Amiran Sadarov, diary of an immigrant from the neighboring CIS countries. Amiran, get in touch. Let's run it together. 30 or 50 food trucks throughout Moscow that will sell the most delicious shawarma. Maybe it will be burgers or hot dogs. Guys, write to Amiran's Instagram. Hashtag Amiran collaborate with Transformer. This is the hashtag we're sending him. If he gets 10,000 hashtags, then he will surely agree. If he agrees, we will start this great show and present you how we do it. 
And, of course, it will be a delicious product that you can eat every day with fun. What do you think? Amiran, come here, I said. In general, I do not have the task to advertise the boys. I have a task to bring to you a working business model. Look at that. I had several insights during the interview process. First, the location issue in principle disappears because you can test different places. For a month, you can drive around at least 20 or 30 of them and see where you will catch more clients. It is possible to agree at the initial stage, and it is not necessary. For a start, we can just look at these places, look at the publicity, look at the purchasing power. After that, to decide where to stay and with whom to negotiate. The second very cool insight is that this is a ready-made business. What can be sold just on a veto? If you're opening a restaurant on the street, that's such a story. If it hasn't become successful with you, or it brings little money, then you probably won't return the money you invested. Here, you can sell it for the same price as a ready-made business. And other people, looking at this project from a different angle, will be able to move it further. And the third most important insight, the coolest thing that I liked, is that now the government is considering the bill on mobile trade, when each of you may in the future locate a handmade or somewhere bought food truck and sell food right on the streets. It seems to me that this story will soon return all, because, as we said in previous videos, we see a trend of mono-food restaurant concepts. In general, I have three main conclusions, and just look at this model and think about whether you should invest money in it. And now I will twist it and go, probably to continue to shoot the Transformer video. And you put the like for this material. Ta-da!